Okay, uh, now for the uh, breakdown of the parts, we've got the introduction, which goes from the 9th fret of the G string with the 1st finger to the 12th fret of the high E, which is an octave. I should train you here to know that as a sound. So whenever you hear that sound, you know it's an octave. Um, so we do that first, one, two, three, and then you go, so it's on four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, okay? Now the next bit, we go to our third finger on the 11th fret of the high E, so we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, Slower. One, two, three. Okay, and then what we're going to do is slide our third finger back to the twelfth using the third finger now, okay? And you slide down to seven. So you got this. One, two, three. Pick it again when you get there, okay? So that slide goes. It goes like this. One, two, three. Two, three, four. And then we go to the fifth fret of the B string here. Back to the seventh fret. Third finger. Three. Four, two, three, four. So the whole thing at that pace. One, two, three, One, two, three. Okay, the chords for the verse or under the intro. We start with this uh, power chord on the seventh fret of the A string, which is an E. And we take the first finger back one. So you've got a one there, and you've got a fourth finger on the ninth fret of the D. That's a power chord, right? And we start with the first finger back one. So this is on six. We get that sound. And we slide it in. And we're going to play up, down, up, down. Okay? So one, two, three. Right? And then we're going to chug. We have to meet, meet, alright my friend. We have to meet the strings here and go just down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like this. Up, down, up. Then we slide it down to the fourth fret of the A string. Same, same shape. Without the scratch bit now. So what we've got is when we get there, what we're doing is releasing the meat by just twisting our wrist away. So go. And it's one and then two. Dun, dun, one. I think I showed you doing that twice in a row, but what we're going to do is do it once and then chug the second half. So we have this. Then we go into the fifth fret of the A. 
the E string, sorry, this is an A chord. And we're playing the same pattern. So it's and then we're going back to the first chord we play, which is an E. end of it it's that. We got this right. So this is the whole verse and intro. One, two, three, up, down, down. Go to the fourth fret. Now the next bit goes A chord, 5th fret E, all open now, down, up, down, up, down, up, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, back to the first chord, but we're going to chug it this time, so it's got a dynamic of life. That's the bridge we call in this one, right? So we're doing that chugging pattern without the mutes in between. So it's doing a few in a row, right? Like this. The next bit we got is so that's an E on the seventh fret, the A, a B straight above it on the seventh of the E. There's an option on this chorus bit. To the riff. That happens while everyone's playing an A chord. So that's 9th fret of the D, 11th fret of the D, 9th fret of the G, 11th fret of the G. And you go down, up, down, up. You're going down, down, up, down, up. On both strings. Just walk it around. First finger, third. First finger, third. And that would sound like this.
Okay? And that's what happens at the end as well. Take a look at me now. Take a look at me now. Oh, go to the A or the riff. So just go to A this time. Take a look at me now. Take a look at me now. Go to the riff this time. this at the end, this is the way we do it in the band. So take a look at me now, so take a look at me now, take a look at me now, so take a look at me now, let it hang out, singer says, so take a look at me, everybody in the band on the biggie, we can use a B down there, and that's it.